hear it. Does it sound the same? I hear it. It sounds better. <laughs> <laughs> I you guess heard it. it for so long. <laughs> That's right. That's a good wow. <laughs> That's this is so exciting. How does it sound? Oh my God. Does it sound okay? <laughs> yeah, I revved it up a little bit. I was kind of toying with him. I know he was excited to see it. It's, it's, it's oh, so oh, You know, it's been so darn long. I mean, we had an agreement when I left here. And that agreement was that exhaust better sound the same as it sounded when we drove in with it. Oh my God. Yeah. Look at this thing. <laughs> I knew that when I went around the corner and saw the smile, pretty much I was out of the woods. It didn't sound any different. Happy to announce. Wow. Wow. It is awfully pretty. <laughs> oh, my God. Here, let me give you a hug. Wow. Oh, my God. This thing, <laughs> this thing literally could bring tears to my eyes. Aww. Mark? I mean, for a guy that's owned every car in the oh. world, there's not a better compliment for me, so. Oh, my God. It's beautiful, man. <laughs> Hats off, guys. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Amazing. thing about uh, the GTX 66, 67 year model is that the cars were just big, elegant, simple cars. They put Hemi engines in them, but they didn't modify the bodies at all of these cars. So whether you had a GTX Hemi or you had a GTX 318, it was the same car. But the car was just a lot of muscle and it was classic. And it's kind of the end of an era as far as the GTX model went and what it became. So I just thought it was a great time to own one of these precious cars. And I got one of very few convertibles that were ever manufactured. I've owned it for probably well over a decade now. And uh, just, you know, feel very privileged. I love the paint when it's like, I mean, you can see the clouds and count the road right there in the actual hood itself. You know, this car always was going to be a keeper. Yeah. And I, God almighty, Mark, I am just <laughs> blown away. <laughs>